Hey everyone, this is Patton11. I'm here to talk to you about uh, guns, obviously. Uh, mainly EDC, what you do, what you carry, how you carry it, why you carry it. The things that seem to be what most people talk about. These are some of my favorites. This is what I carry a lot of times. Next to your phone. Your keys. At night time, you definitely want a good Glock with a good light on top of it, good holster for it, extra magazine pouch. During the day, I'll switch that up a little bit. I'll carry that Glock with that magazine carrier. I normally carry my HK knife almost all the time. And depending on where I'm going and what I'm doing, I'll take out my trusty Glock 36 with a spare mag naturally. And that's an excellent inside the waistband holster that I use for all my Glocks. And that's a 357 Taurus that carries the triple clip. Here's a unique gun that most people like a lot. It's my six hour 45 compact commander style. A lot of people love it. Very pretty gun. One I don't carry very often, which is this one, is the Glock 41. I don't care very often because it's got a huge slide on it. My god, this thing is big. Look at that sucker. It is huge, long, but it's very, very good, very, very accurate, and extremely reliable. Next to that is a fun gun. Love my wheel guns for fun. Got my 45 long Colt. That's an EAA. Good gun. Very reliable. Love the death. Next to it, it's another wheel gun. 1970. Rigger. Black Hawk. In 357 configuration. Excellent gun. Love it. Extremely accurate. Next to it, it's a 66. If I can get out of the whole sort one finger, I probably can't. Oh, uh, come on now. There we go. And that's a 66. Seven shot. 357. Love it. And there's my GP100. Gotta love that thing. Very accurate. Always reliable. Anyway, the reason I'm showing you all this is all my friends keep telling me all the time, you're a gun guy and you got gear and you got all this stuff laying around. Why don't you ever do a video on any of these things? And I never thought I was video worthy, but seeing how most people out there are doing videos have good gear and good guns and give good reviews, I thought I would give it a shot. And this is what I have. And I carry them on different situations depending on what I'm doing. Even like that little 357 right there. I carry that a lot. Especially on like, you know, gun store runs or running to the store to get a gallon of milk, things like that. Then a stripper clip, I'm good to go. But now if I'm going to be out all day, especially at night, I definitely want to make sure I'm carrying a gun with a light on it the average day I will carry my Glock 19 with a light on it. The 36 it's a good gun, love it to death, shoots well but it's a little snappy but one thing about that is it's hard to find a good magazine pouch for the Glock 36. I've got a couple that works but not very well but I do carry it when I get an opportunity. Now, naturally, these are a little heavier when you get into the 45 
9 to 11 configuration. They're a little heavier. They're a good gun. Beautiful gun. Very accurate. Shoots very well. Never had a problem with it. But, again, it's very, very heavy. So, normally when it comes to carrying a gun, I go back to my Glocks because they are reliable, extremely accurate, easy to equip with the proper holsters and the proper magazine pouches. And always when you go out, you always carry your phone, no matter what you do in this day and age. Because if you got GPS on your phone, you got weather on your phone, you got a tracker on your phone, you're good to go. I mean, you're pretty safe. Always make sure you have a solar-powered charger of some kind somewhere in your vehicle, just in case at all, SHGF. And then again, the wheel guns are just very accurate. They're fun to shoot. So I always tell everybody, get a couple wheel guns. Just for nothing else, they're easy to shoot. They're fun to shoot. They're a blast, and it's easy to recover the, <laughs> the spent brass so you can reload. Well, anyway, I thought I'd make a quick video just to let you know a few things, and my next video will be going over my pack. Because a lot of people go and say it's a getaway bag or a get-home bag. Mine is more of a anything can happen bag. So I'll go over that next. Hope you liked the video. Patent 11 out.